Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. We hope that we can find you in a good, healthy condition. We also would like to extend our prayers and sympathy for those who are in hospital right now. Also to our fellow paramedics that has to struggle in fighting COVID-19. May God take care of you. And for most of us, please do stay at home. Cherish our every moment with our beloved family. Welcome to the English service organized by Gekai Ganigida. Today we are going to celebrate the fourth Easter Sunday with full worship service. This service is, will be held online as a part of our government's program to keep people from creating a big crowd and also as an important way to fight the COVID-19. We also would like to welcome all your suggestions about these programs. Please kindly send your comments also in the below. Call to worship. In the laughter of children, we hear the voice of the gate of the way and find our way home. In the lap of a parent, God's compassion cradles us in the still waters of love. The shepherd of our lives lead us through that door into life with him forever. We are baptized with living waters which refresh us, restoring us to follow Jesus all our days. The Holy Spirit, keeper of truth, is the light which guides us through every shadowed moment. The breath of life still our worries and fears as we are led to the peaceful place of God's heart. God in community, holy in one, May you always be with us in our journey, as we pray in Jesus' name, our teacher. Amen. Spirit, keeper of truth, is the light 
which dances through every moment of shadow. The breath of life steals our worries and fears as we are left to the peaceful life and peace of God's heart. God in community, holy in one, may you always be with us on our journey as we pray in Jesus' name, our teacher. To foolish lives and repeated mistakes, we know all too well where they are. Gate of our lives, stirring up the waters with trouble comes all too easy to us, we confess, and locking the doors of our hearts so we don't have to love others is second nature to us. forgives us our goodness and mercy. May our hearts overflow with hope for others as you anoint us with healing oil. May we share from our abundance with all who hunger for life. May we follow Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, to the places of service and life with you forever. Let us listen to the assurance of pardon. A comforter leads us to that place where God's table is spread with forgiveness and overflowing with grace. Here we are called to life and love. We will live as God's people, forgiven to serve, blessed to share, love so we might care. Thanks be to God. Amen.
Let us pray to prepare our hearts and our minds before we listen to the word of the Lord. Let us pray. O God, our Lord, we come to you to ask for your blessing and your company as we are reading our Bible. Please be with us, enlighten us, so that we may understand your work and your will, especially during this terrible pandemic that had taken so many lives in our world today. Amen. And so they usually 
would enter from the vectors. He would try to open the gate from inside and then steal the sheep one by one. He they don't know the names of the sheep and so uh, they will not be able to call the sheep by their names because they are thieves and uh, robbers or bandits this is that is the word that Jesus used now uh, the other difference between the good shepherd and the bad shepherd of course we will know it immediately the bad shepherd are the ones who always try to uh, steal the, the sheep and then take them away and sell them to those who would like to buy them. The bad shepherd didn't care about the well-being of the sheep and therefore he always uh, treat them very badly while the good shepherd will always try to treat them with care the good shepherd will try to take care of the sheep that has been entrusted to him. Now, more than uh, taking care of his sheep, the good shepherd will try to protect their life. He will try to take care of them, even protect them from any dangers that may harm their sheep. What kind of dangers that will trouble the sheep? Of course, we know in the wilderness there are always enemies of the sheep. Maybe the sheep uh, would be sold to be eaten by the people. Maybe there are uh, wolves that would come and attack the sheep and eat them. In such cases, the good shepherd will try to protect his sheep. Whatever may be done to them, he would not he would not try to escape and let the sheep be attacked by their enemies. He even would be willing to sacrifice his life for the sake of his sheep. Now, uh, that is the difference between the good bad sheep and the good sheep. Now let us try to reflect the meaning of this parable. There are many bad sheep in our life. However, there is only one good sheep or very few good sheep that, that is concerned about us, about our life. Who are they? Jesus said that the good sheep may be the owner or the one who is entrusted with the task of protecting the sheep. But the best shepherd are the ones who are paid or who are one is sheep. So 
in the in the case of danger, the best shepherd will lead would lead his sheep and try to to save his own life first. Now, uh, in our in in our time today, who are the best shepherd and the good shepherd? Let us look at our time. We have good leaders and some bad leaders in our life today. Especially during this COVID-19 uh, crisis. Who are our good leaders? Our good leaders are those who try to protect us from the danger of the COVID-19. Those are the ones who would like to think for our best, for our health, by calling us to do all the protections that we can do. While the best shepherd are the ones who do not care about our life our safety. They only think that maybe how our economy can be maintained, that uh, economic life can run as usual so that uh, our life can go on just like before. While the Good Shepherd will try to think how economic life can go on and they don't start Meanwhile, the Good Shepherd will think for the best of our life such as by distributing all the needs that people would meet during this crisis. For example, many churches today try to distribute what we call Zimbabwe or the basic necessities that our people may need. However, we also realize that each communities, each churches, or each Social organizations have their own limitation. So we believe that our people also have to try to live within their own needs and not try to spend extravagantly. Now, how about the, bad, the, the good shepherd? The good shepherd will try to help their people by distributing their basic necessities or what we call in Indonesia as uh, Sumbako. The bad shepherd may also do the same thing but they don't care much about how the distribution will be done. So we have seen many reports about the good, the best shepherd for distributing carelessly. Sometimes the aids would fall on people who are actually do not come under the categories of people who need their aids. And we also heard that some people receive less than what is supposed to be given to them. Now, during this time, we can see more easily who are the good shepherd and who are the bad ones.
What we learn from this time is that some people take their responsibility very seriously, but others try to take opportunity to get benefit from this situation, the COVID-19. I hope we all learn about this and we would know how to differentiate our good shepherd and the bad ones. Thieves and the bad ones, like Jesus has said. So next time, let us think who has done what God has required from them. So we can choose our leaders more carefully. We can choose our leaders according to their uh, characteristics and not only because similarities in class, social class, in religion and other things that will show us that they are not trusted leaders in our life. Thank you. Amen. Let us confess the faith into which we were baptized according to the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us unite in our intercessory prayer and let us pray for the following items. Let us pray for some of us who have lost friends and families this week. Let's pray that this ban of gathering of people will soon be lifted and we can worship again as usual. Let us pray for all the medical personnel, health workers, pharmaceutical, the mortuaries, and all those who are involved in this big battle against the COVID-19. Let us also pray for our leaders. They will be granted wisdom by God so they can make the right decisions to help our people to get through these dangerous situations. Let us pray. Dear God, our Father, we pray to you to give thanks for allowing us to gather together again in this place, in this service. We give thanks for the week that has passed and the health that you are still giving to us so that we may gather again this time to listen to your word, to sing our praises for your name. God, this time you would like to pray for some of us who are sick maybe because of the COVID-19 on other causes. And we pray those who have fallen because of this COVID-19, 
and their friends and families who are mourning for their loss. God, we also pray that this ban of gathering of people will soon be lifted and we can worship again as usual together in your home. We also want to pray to, to you, O oh Lord, for the medical people, health workers, pharmaceutical people, and the mortuaries, and those who are involved in this big battle against the COVID-19. We do not know when this virus will disappear and defeat it. But please remember us, Lord, that we may continue living during this crisis. Lord, we want to pray also for our leaders that they may be granted wisdom by God so that they can make the right decisions to help us to get through this dangerous time. We pray this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us continue our worship by bringing our offering to God while remembering what the psalmist says. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear Him and His righteousness to children's children, to those who keep His covenant and remember to do His commandments. May the gifts we offer be used to open doors closed to strangers, hands shut tight against generous giving, and hearts frozen by fears of the unknown. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Go out into the world in peace. Have courage. Hold on to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint heart. Support the weak. Help the suffering. Honor all persons. Honor all creation. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. And may the grace of God, the love of the light of Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Go in peace. Amen. Oh